Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dan the Movie Man with another big show for you. Yep, this is a really big one. We got four reviews today. Uh, we got Grown Ups, Predators, Inception, and Salt. And later today in my show, I'm going to try something new, see if you guys like it. So why don't we start off with Grown Ups. First I'll tell you what it's about, and then I'll tell you what I thought of it. The movie's about five friends that we're friends in high school, and then 30 years later, they meet together and they get to know each other's kids and wives. The movie stars Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, and Rob Schneider. So here's my review on that. First off, this movie, I thought it was just really, really funny. It got me laughing from beginning to end. And, you know, half the time, it looked like they weren't even acting. It looked, it looked like that they were just hanging out like on a daily basis and you know telling jokes and comedy stand-up jokes it was just really funny and you know one also good thing about it was that it was filmed in Cape Cod and that's why a lot of Cape Codders love this movie because it was shot in Waterwiz so now a lot of people are going to be going to Waterwiz and after when I saw this and they shot it at Waterwiz. I thought, wow, they're going to be really, really busy this year. So, yeah, I thought it was really funny. Great cast, great humor. Like, I took my mom to uh, see it. Like, we're both laughing so hard. Like, I was laughing hard. She's laughing harder than me. <laughs> so, anyway, my star review. I'm going to give this movie four and a half stars out of five. Uh, just a half, just... A little bit felt like it was a daddy daycare vibe when I saw the trailer to it, and they did, but like, it was still funny. I mean, obviously a lot better than daddy daycare. So that's my review for Grown Ups. Next review is Predators, starring Adrian Brody, Alice Braga, Danny Trejo, Lawrence Fishburne, Topher Grace, and a bunch of other people. A movie is a reboot on the original 87 version of the Predator movie where eight survivors, which are determined to be the eight greatest mercenaries and killers and murderers sit on the planet and they get sent to the Predator's planet for a hunting game. So here's my review on that. That, it's pretty good. It's, I enjoyed it very much. It's a lot better than AVP and AVP art. You know, there's no more ruins, no more pyramids, or back to the jungle where every Predator movie should be. And Adrian Brody in it, I gotta say I underestimated him. I did not think that he was gonna be a tough guy in it, but after when I saw his performance and what he did in the movie, I'm like, Adrian Brody, I'm so sorry for dissing you. I'm so sorry. But here's my problem with the movie. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything, but here's the thing. See, Lawrence Fishburne is in the movie. Now, he plays a Marine that was sent on the Predator planet with a bunch of other Marines to see, like, check on uh, other Predators and learn more about their species. And he's the only survivor, and he's been on the planet for God knows how many years. And he bumps into the guys that were landed on the planet so that he brings them... Well, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to say any more. But I will say he just wasn't what I expected him to be. That's all I'm gonna say, nothing else. That's just my only issue and it's absolutely fine. And Topher Grace did a much better job than I thought it would be because his performance in Spider-Man 3 don't even get me started on that. But he, he plays a doctor, a scientist in it. And yeah, that's kind of weird because you got all these mercenaries and these killers. And then there's Topher Grace, who's just looking around like, why am I here? But then it, it all makes sense, but that, I'm going to leave that up to you to see. It's definitely worth seeing. 
This movie, I'm going to give four stars just for the Lawrence Fishburne issue. That's all I had. Oh, and the other cool part about it was that they have these things called predator dogs, which are really cool. That I thought they were actually much cooler than the predators, and there are different species of predators. Like there's the original predator, and then there's like this more monstrous predator with a wider mouth, which is even like, I don't know, more agile or more stronger. So that's my review for predators. Next up is Inception, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Ellen Page, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and a bunch of other people like Chillian Murphy and Michael Caine, who are not really main characters, but they'll do. So the movie is about dreams. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio, who's this guy called a dream thief, and him, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and the other gang go into people's dreams, and they learn about their secrets and try to steal something from that, and they use this kind of technology so that they can hack into their dreams, and Leonardo DiCaprio is on a last mission, and he meets Ellen Page, who's a college student, and he trains her to be an architect so that they can learn how, well, she can learn how to create places to, you know, walk around, because in the movie he actually says, never recreate from your memory, always imagine new things. So here's my review on that. It is very complex. It's probably the most complex movie I've ever seen. This is one of those movies that you cannot leave to go to the bathroom or text during the movie. You have to pay attention to it 100%. Like after I saw it, I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> but I liked it. I thought it was really good. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio did a really good performance and Surprisingly, Ellen Page did a real, I, I knew she was going to be good, but she turned out to be better than I thought. And, you know, it was original. It was something that was never done before. And once again, Chris Nolan has never disappointed me. So my star rating for that, four stars. Just, you know, one star out for, like, leaving me confused and having me to think throughout the whole thing. So that's my review for Inception. Last but not least, Salt, which I actually saw yesterday. Now, Salt stars Angelina Jolie and Lee F. Schreiber. And Angelina Jolie plays a CIA agent that in the CIA, there's this Russian guy who breaks in and she's interrogating him and he tells her, some kind of story or something and about when she's about to walk out yeah, he says that the Russian president will be assassinated by someone named Evelyn Salt and she says that's impossible my name's Evelyn Salt he's like then you're a Russian spy she's uh, got that uh oh look on her face like they caught me and Lee of Shriver's in the movie he plays her boss and you know he does Every CIA agent wants to get her, but he kind of wants to lock her up, but she, he also you know, wants to help her out, like prove that she's innocent. So here's my review on this. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't fantastic. I didn't think it was great, but you know, pretty decent. It's like, it's like the female born movies. It, and there are a few twists and turns near the end, and you know the action's really cool. The movie kind of leaves you off to a sequel, like hit, not gonna again. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it le definitely leaves off to a sequel, like in mid sentence. I'm like, wait, what happens next? I want to know more, but you know. Uh, decent performance and Angelina Jolie playing a spy at first I thought oh Angelina Jolie playing a spy I've never seen that before well you know it's not our best performance but 
It'll do. I thought she was pretty good. I mean, she did a really good job acting, and Leah Shriver was okay. I mean, it's like Edge of Darkness. Mel Gibson was like the only good part in the movie, and in this, Angelina Jolie was the only good part in the movie. Like, no. And for this, I'm going to give this three and a half stars. Just, you know, it's decent, and you should probably go see it, and if not, then definitely wait for the DVD. All right, so my new thing for the day is the question of the day, and I have two questions. Number one, now that I've reviewed Inception, what is your favorite Leonardo DiCaprio movie? Mine is The Departed, I just love it. So what is your favorite? I wanna know, and next month I'll tell, I'll do a top five on what you guys thought was the best one. And question number two has to do with this. Got this in the mail for Entertainment Weekly. Ryan Reynolds as the Green Lantern. It's pretty exciting. A little bit there. And it has to, this question has to do with that. Now that the Green Lantern is coming out next summer in 2011, five movies are coming out next year. Five superhero movies. So what superhero movie are you mostly excited for to see? And here are the five choices. The Green Hornet, Thor, X-Men First Class, The Green Lantern, and Captain America. So what are you mostly excited for next year? And next month, I'm gonna do a pie chart on the percentage on what you wanna see next year and like give an example. When I show it next month, the pie chart will be right here and it, it'll have a percentage like, oh, a lot of people wanna see Captain America and a little percentage wanna see X-Men First Class, but you know, but that's up to you. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Well, this is Dan the Movie Man. It's my show. Next month, pretty good show. We got the other guys, Scott Pilgrim versus the World and The Expendables next month. Hopefully I'll be able to get to see all of those. Until then, this is Dan the Movie Man, signing off.